Tonight, residents upset over this brand new skate park in the North County tell 10 News. They're willing to move just to get away from all the problems it's created. New tonight, tennis reporter Steve Fiorina shows us what they're so upset about. It's after 10, the lights are out, the park's closed, but the echoes from the night are still vivid. On the bluff above. It's so upsetting, I just refuse to come out here. It's too upsetting to me. There are maybe t eight, 10 kids down there right now, which is nothing. On a Saturday, there'll be 100 kids. Al Norte Park opened just last month. Uh, some of the neighbors are experiencing some new noises, uh, some new traffic patterns, things they weren't experiencing before. So we're very mindful of that and we're committed to being as neighborly as we possibly can. The park is hugely popular for those who use it, but they're aware too of issues. We're thrilled with the park. We have heard a lot of complaints about the skate park being really noisy um, and you know at all hours. Park and Rec is watching closely. Currently operating hours are 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. for the skate park, so we keep security here at night to make sure nobody's skating after hours or before it opens. But there's still those sounds that spill over and carry. It's great for the community, obviously, but it, it does get, get a little bit noisy. A wall. They need a wall six, eight feet high or some sort of a sound barrier. The geography here really doesn't lend itself to a security wall and a large sound wall uh, that makes issues for police when they come by. Mel Levin isn't optimistic about a resolution. The obvious answer is move and I think that's what I have to do. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. Hazeltine calls this an adjustment period and said they could change the operating hours of the skate park if that would better serve the community.